DJI's Phantom series have become something of a benchmark for consumer level drones, or quadcopters if you prefer, thanks to their simple setup and ease of use. With several previous revisions, the world's biggest consumer drone maker is back with its smartest, most compact quadcopter yet, making you look like a drone pro even if you've never touched one before. Conveniently named the DJI Phantom 4. DJI's Phantom drones have defined what regular people can expect from a camera-equipped quadcopter in the last few years. With each iteration, the Phantom drone's flight gets a little smoother and its camera gets a touch better. With the Phantom 4 though, it stops being just a camera with wings that's easy to fly and introduces some intelligent features making it not only easier to fly, but harder to crash. Now supplied in a good quality high density foam carry case along with a quality rubberized handle and a nice locking mechanism, the case opens to reveal all contents securely stored in separate cavities. Along with the Phantom 4 drone, we receive the obvious and familiar looking controller module, two sets of propellers in a protective carry bag, a charging module with newly designed battery connector, along with a power cable relative to your country, and two micro USB cables, one for connecting to your computer, and another for updating the drone directly from a USB flash drive. Completing the package is a brief quick start guide and other such literature, leaving a cavity in the case for a small tablet. It's a nice overall package wrapped up in that handy carry case storing everything you need. To most people, the Phantom 4 looks virtually identical to its predecessor, but previous Phantom owners will notice a number of small tweaks to the hardware and design of the latest model. The company traded in its matte white exterior for a shinier plastic, and the body and legs have been slimmed down and smoothed for better aerodynamics, particularly important for cutting through the air at higher speeds while remaining completely stable. The coloured bands on the arms which were used to differentiate previous models have now been removed, while the propeller motors themselves are now exposed, allowing for improved heat efficiency, while also allowing space for the LEDs to sit directly beneath them. The propellers also attach with a new screwless locking mechanism that works a lot like the top of a medicine bottle. It twists on easily, and then to release, push down and untwist. Quick and easy. The overall design is a little more aggressive, something in between the ultra-friendly phantoms that came before it and the more menacing design of DJI's high-end Inspire 1. Nevertheless, the belly of the Phantom 4 is now a rubbery grey, breaking the all-white aesthetic used on previous models and incorporates a second sonar sensor allowing for even stronger position holding abilities. The gimbal that holds the camera itself is now attached on both sides, meaning there is an extra motor. A large section of the gimbal has also been moved inside the body of the drone in an effort to reduce drag and better align the camera with the craft's centre of gravity. Gone are those small rubber dampeners, we now have one large dampener holding the entire camera vibration free, even at higher speeds. The memory card and USB ports previously integrated into the gimbal are now integrated into the main body of the craft. The camera unit itself remains mostly unchanged from the predecessor, which produces incredible looking footage already. Although the sensor stays the same, the lens has been tweaked to allow for sharper images, particularly around the edges of the shot, as well as allowing for less distortion. Those into slow motion shots will also be happy to see a new 120 frames per second mode at 1080p. Even the landing gear have been redesigned with longer, thicker legs that should mean safer landings even if it's windy. Nevertheless, despite the slimmer and sleeker body, the Phantom 4 is 100 grams heavier than its predecessor. The extra weight comes mostly from the battery, which has been expanded from 4480 milliamp hours to 5350. The larger battery and more aerodynamic frame bumps battery life up to 28 minutes on a single charge, no small feat given the extra power draw from the new cameras, sensors and onboard processor. All those tweaks may seem minor overall, but they all add together to give the Phantom 4 a much fresher outlook. The controller module itself remains mostly untouched with its dual antenna design, convenient shoulder buttons, comfortable thumbsticks and built-in battery. 
In fact, the only tweak is a metal hinge for the smartphone or tablet mount, similar to that found on the Inspire controllers, and ensuring the device stays in place with no wobble, an issue that plagued the previous model. All of these refinements, the sleek body shell along with the partly internal gimbal unit, mean the drone can cut through the air faster than ever before with incredible agility. Toggle a specific sport mode and the top speed of the drone increases from 35 to 45 miles an hour. For anyone who enjoys flying in manual, it's a true joy, turning the Phantom into an incredibly fast and agile aircraft, an experience much closer to flying the high-end Inspire 1 than flying any previous Phantom. The coolest feature by far though is the obstacle sensing system, making the Phantom for the first consumer unit that can see the world around it and adjust accordingly, the next big step towards a truly autonomous aircraft. Try and fly it into a wall and the Phantom 4 will put on the brakes. The Phantom 4 accomplishes this feat with the help of 5 cameras, 2 on the front and 2 on the bottom, plus the main 4K camera that has always been on board to capture video. The images captured by these cameras are run through computer vision software, which constructs a 3D model of the world around it, and the drone can intelligently navigate, scanning for objects the Phantom might run into, up to 50 feet away and over 30 feet underneath. Of course this system isn't perfect and it can't avoid what it can't see, so you still have to think before liftoff. If the drone tries to fly over something and bangs into the tree branch above, that's on you. The computer vision technology can also do more than just that. A new feature called TapFly eliminates the need to learn the two-stick controller. Push one button to take off, set a maximum distance the drone can travel, and just tap on the live video feed that appears on your screen. The drone will move towards the horizon in that direction. This feature is especially nice for helping to smooth out video footage. Many struggle to pan horizontally while flying, often adding in distracting twitches and jerks while trying to perfect framing. Now you can tap on your screen and the drone will automatically adjust its orientation with a single smooth motion. If you weren't impressed already, another new feature, Active Track, is even more impressive. Trace a circle around a subject you want to keep in frame, be it a runner, race car or mountain bike for instance. The Phantom's onboard computer builds a 3D model of that subject and then automatically tracks to keep it in frame. The pilot can use the remote to make fine grained adjustments to the focus, framing or camera settings, or they can just sit back and let the drone do all the work. The Phantom 3 was pretty stable in a hover, but the new sensors also make the Phantom 4 even more stable when hovering thanks to those two cameras and two ultrasonic sensors on its belly. DJI says that overall the new unit is five times as good as holding its position, and in the time I spent flying I was shocked at how stable it was resting in place. Previous versions of the Phantom would stay in place, although with some drifting and correcting a few inches depending on wind. The Phantom 4 looked as though it was frozen in air. The new Phantom isn't cheaper than previous versions. In fact, at $1,399, it's more expensive than the flagship Phantom 3 was at release. But with the new suite of autonomous features, you are way less likely to wreck your aircraft, and you don't need to spend any time mastering manual piloting to capture great aerial footage. The tweaked looks, faster top speed and improved camera lens are all welcome changes, but it's the clever subject tracking and automatic flight modes that will make it perfect for novice pilots and experienced aerial photographers alike. The DJI Phantom has never been the cheapest option. It's sort of like the iPhone of drones, the best overall package of price, power and ease of use. But with the Phantom 4, DJI's drone isn't just the best overall offering, it's also the most cutting edge. Yes, it's more expensive than the Phantom 3 was, but if you've waited this long to get on the drone bandwagon, the extra outlay definitely looks worth it. Current Phantom 3 pilots may not be completely convinced though, but those after truly smooth, professional-grade, high-level panning shots will certainly want the upgrade.